Covering southeast Georgia, where school districts are also facing the task of reopening amid the pandemic, plans are now being rolled out, which are not mandated or required by the state. That gives the districts flexibility to meet their individual needs. News for Jax reporter Brittany Muller has been checking with the South Georgia counties. She's joining us from the newsroom. Brittany, let's start with Brantley County. Are decisions there about masks being made if students are back in the classroom? Tom, Brantley County school system says masks will be optional if in-person education takes place under the plans it is currently developing. Superintendent Kim Morgan says its intentions are to start school on Tuesday, August 4th with face-to-face -face learning on a traditional schedule. But there is a possibility of a hybrid schedule or at-home virtual school depending on the community spread of the virus and restrictions placed on schools at any given time during the school year. Brantley County School System Superintendent Dr. Morgan says there are three options for this upcoming school year. Plan one, traditional school Monday through Friday with increased safety measures and virtual school for students because of COVID-19 or other personal issues. Plan two, hybrid schedule where half the students would attend in-person school on Monday, Wednesday and the other half on Tuesday, Thursday. The other half would be virtual. This plan is in place so if there's a time where more restrictions are put into place, the schools can implement hybrid learning. Dr. Morgan did acknowledge that this plan is not ideal for most families as it places a hardship on many working parents. Plan three, school closure requiring virtual school for all students. For Heather Blunt's kindergartner and third grader, she wants to see the hybrid option. It would make more sense to me if they pulled something like the hybrid, like the hybrid class and ease the students into it and I feel like that would be a better way for them to be able to monitor if there is any spikes. Blunt says she's concerned with traditional school because of masks, especially since her five-year-old son has reactive airway disease and asthma, and masks affect his oxygen intake. She's also concerned about recess or gym if Plan 1 is implemented and how that will happen. But her family has been waiting to find out more information. It's really hard trying to get a plan together when nobody still knows what they're doing. Not everybody can wait last minute to figure out what they're going to do. We have jobs to work around. We've got daycare to work around. We've got other things on a normal schedule that we have to work around. We can't just sit here and wait till last minute. Dr. Morgan asked Brantley County school parents to be aware as any of the three plans could be implemented. Its first choice would be one for the traditional plan one school in August, but it has not made any final decisions as of yet. More plans for safety measures and precautions will be shared later this month, closer to the start of school. Also, Camden County has not yet released its plans. It's still finalizing the details. Coming up at 530, the schedule where county schools could be implementing at the start of the school year, what parents need to know.